when the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. I guess I should go wake him up. Oh, he's awake. Savak. Savak. I'm always happy to wel welcome guests who aren't any work. Come back soon. Ah, oh, man. That was a long night's rest, but... Why am I still so tired? Huh. Morning, guys and gals. I'm I'm Pal, and I am exceedingly tired. This is going to be the one of the weirdest recording sessions I've ever done. Last time, we came up from the depths after a long, and honestly, I think for some of you, excruciating trek from Central Hyrule to the Gerudo region. We popped out, and here we are. What we're going to do, I'm not sure. I think we should, I think we should putz around a little bit. At the very least, I need more supplies. I am, I guess that's the wrong metric by which to gauge my lack of supplies. Uh, I guess I, I have supplies, but the problem is cooking. I, I didn't, there are no pots in the depths. And so this is all I have, well, actually, I didn't even have these yet. That was all I had to my name. Hi. And I had perma damage going on, so... It, it was not good. It was not good. What? Ooh, that's cool. Uh, let's. Here's a pot. So I guess at the very least, first and foremost, let's do a little bit of cooking. Much better. I went from zero to hero. Good morning. Vasak! <laughs> I sell one of the latest fashion crazes straight from Gerudo Town. If you're after the Desert Vo headband, you've come to the right place. It should be hard for Vo to get their hands on it. <laughs> Not only is what I sell a fashionable choice, but also great for staving off the desert heat. And even if you've already got, already got one, why not settle for, for that one when you could get another in a different color? What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, are you just... Oh, okay. Just the normal oh. dyeing of clothes. <laughs> uh, let's... Yeah, let's sell some stuff. I, I want to get that. If I'm going to be... If I'm going to be exploring this area, I gotta dress the part. Ooh, there's no way I'm going to afford that without selling everything I own. Uh, we'll come back to you, lady. Huh. Well, I guess I've talked to pretty much everybody... Save, you know, the obvious. Oh. And you. Glad I've got Hi. wings. Are you still here? Well, good ock. Dear me, I accidentally combined good day with the Grudo Savak there. Perhaps I've lived here too long. Which reminds me, I've heard all sorts of new greetings lately, like Vota and Sava. Should I be using those instead? Oh. Another Hylian stranded by the sand shroud, I take it. How challenging li life without wings must be. The higher you go, the thinner the shroud gets, so we Gerudo can s or we Gerudo. We Rito can soar right over it. For us, it's a little more than sandy fog. Uh. Have you seen the thick layer of sand over the desert? That's the sh that is the sand shroud. Should you be caught in it, not only will it obscure your vision, but it'll also make your compass go haywire. Thanks to that updraft over there, however, this oasis is secure. I've never been inside the sand shroud myself. We Rito simply can simply fly oh. over it. Be careful not to get your feathers rustled up by the sand shroud. Good vork for now. Ugh, sorry. I was a little bit goodbye and a little bit savork. Look, you you know what I meant. Just just take care out there. I got sand in my eye. Savok, I mean, <laughs> that was a perfect vibe if I do say so uh. myself. Uh, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Good on you for saying hello. Who are we? We're the first men who will officially do business with the Gerudo, the Vo Caravan Squad. If you too want to go to the Gerudo Town, you would do well to make friends with us. Also, that's just the Man Caravan Squad. We're a group of merchants and friends who have 
long dreamed of doing business in Gerudo oh. Town. Oh, and Vo is a Gerudo word for man. Vo is the word to know. If you don't understand at least one word in their language, the Gerudo will never accept you. And we should know. We spent years here trying to curry favor with them any way we could. They've finally entrusted us with protecting the western entrance to Kara Kara Bazaar. Oh. I've lost count of the number of times I've been swatted with the flat of a guard's spear. They mistake me for some lowly opportunist. Ah. Oh. Gerudo Town is located straight out this gate. It's a town met made by Gerudo for Gerudo, which means it's full of Gerudo and us. <laughs> that means it's a utopia. Oh. Captain, not so loud. You're going to give the Gerudo bad impression of us. Hmm. Mm, sorry, Robston. I just slipped out. Oh. Mm, anyway, uh, the Gerudo have a law forbidding males from entering their town. Keeping us shut out only makes us all the more curious, though. I mean, that's just common mm. sense. We were hoping to raise the the Vo Caravan Squad's likability by gallantly re rescuing the Gerudo ladies from the Sand Shroud. But the Sand Shroud doesn't just block our vision, it confuses our compasses, too. We got lost in about five seconds. In the end, it was the Gerudo ladies who end up gallantly rescuing us. Still, maybe if we approve our muster as gate guards, Gerudo Town will make an exception and welcome us as heroes. <laughs> um, you do know the Sand Shroud makes compasses stop working, right? You're not really thinking about going to push your way through it, are you? It's even more dangerous right now in the heat of the day. Just don't do it. Huh. It took years and years of regular visits, but we finally started to convince the Gerudo that they can depend on us. So please, I'm begging you, don't ruin it by causing any trouble or being reckless. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's a me, Pontos. Get the load of this orb. Seems a really old and a really expensive, don't you think? I hear there's a someone in Gerudo Town who's investigating all of those ancient whatchamacallits. And once I get into town, uh, I'm hoping to find somebody who knows other stuff about this stuff. Woohoo! Nintendo, hire me. I I hear you are looking for a Mario. I can do a Mario impression. It is clearly uh, superb. As is this. Let's go inside. The my uh, shrine. I mentioned at the beginning of this episode that this is going to be a little bit of a weird. Uh, this is one of the weirder recording sessions I've ever done. First off, I'm doing it in the same exact day as I recorded, like, three days of Pikmin 4. Uh, if you follow that LP, honestly, their schedules are lined up at this point, so... By the time this comes out, you should be hitting, like, the end of that recording session, I think? No, the beginning of that recording session. Uh, but I... <laughs> last night, I was partying for my birthday, and I, uh... I am exceedingly tired. I've never recorded an episode when I'm this tired, but knowing that I have... That was weird. Knowing that I have stuff to do next weekend and I might not find an opportunity, I'm going to take advantage of Labor Day weekend to do... To get some recordings in. But, man, is it going to be weird. It also... Uh, my my drink of choice, because I almost always have some sort of drink throughout, th throughout these episodes, just kind of... Uh, It'll loosen me up a little bit. I do it a little bit more with Pikmin 4 than I do with Tears of the Kingdom, just because I kind of need critical thinking skills for Tears. Uh, my drink of choice, just to keep me awake, is a coffee, and it's it's currently 7.17 as I'm recording this, so it's not like... It, this isn't the best idea. I've had... I've had many, um... It's, it's not the, the absolute best idea I've ever come up with. I uh, also then mixed it with, uh, with Bailey's Irish Cream, so I am feeling it right now. I've recorded while sick. This is not me while sick, but it's definitely one of the weirdest me's that has ever recorded. Ugh. This, I mean, this shrine is kind of solving itself. Ooh. Scratch that. Uh, no. What am I doing? I need to remember that I can do that. For some reason, I just don't do it. Okay, we should be fine. Uh, where do we want to go first? Probably not there. Really? There. 
Go. Uh, this is very unwieldy. Also, why don't I have my battery going? Go. Okay, this is very, very unwieldy. I can barely turn. And it also doesn't use a battery. Why? Huh. I mean, I'm making it work. I'm making it work. It's not too bad. We can park it right there. Take it with us. I'd rather not lose the thing. And here's our secret treasure of the shrine. Oh, looks like they want us to jump over there. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. watch this. I got auto build last episode, or not last episode, last recording session, and I really haven't used the thing. Let's let's give it a shot. Or not. Maybe I can't use that in shrines. Wacky. That's I don't I don't get that. You'd think that would make it really easy. But maybe they just want to teach us their lesson and and move on. There's only one treasure in in most shrines, so this is indeed it. Get some crazy momentum, and we're done. And now we have a warp point. Now, if if uh, for all of the input you guys could have got given on uh, in the last couple of episodes. Unfortunately, I'm unable to act on it. Like I said, next weekend is going to be fairly busy for me, and so I, I don't want to be on the back foot when recording these. Um, so, currently the episode that has been released is the late reveal of Koga. And so that, that means I think there are two more episodes that haven't come out that I'll be missing input on, unfortunately. So I'm, not, I'm probably not going to be doing a, a whole lot, but... I'm gonna get some progress in here, and maybe we stick around here. I think that would be a, a nice change of pace. We go from underground to, I mean, as as stark opposite as you can really get. Saba Saba. Saba Saba. Mm -hmm. hmm? Another Hylian, huh? I commend you and those merchants for making it here under these abnormal conditions. <sighs> but the area south of Karakara Bazaar is covered by the sand shroud right now. So visibility is extremely low. Then there are those eyewitness reports of strange monsters. I don't think any less of you if you call off your trip here. Ah. Besides, this oasis is under the protection of us Gerudo soldiers. So you know it's a safe place to rest and relax. Try- I'm trying- <laughs> I'm trying not to have a Russian accent for them. <laughs> You guys made fun of me for it, and now I'm self-conscious. What are you doing? Why is there a mushroom here? What is going on? I have a bad feeling about this thing. I don't know why, but I do. Why is there a mushroom? I think this is stone, but no matter what I do, I can't put a dent in it. What on earth? And I can't climb it. That's... What is happening? What is this thing? That's wild. Huh. Certainly the cause is underground, but I feel like... We haven't quite been there. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I want to. I wanted to do a, a little bit of investigative work. Let's let's see what's directly under this. All right, I'm here on the map. I'm not too far away, and it almost looks like the bright root is responsible for that mushroom. But we gotta we gotta find out. We gotta go over there to find out. Let's give this a shot. Can I make... Okay, that's a history. So I can't favorite these. That's the weird part. 
But once I build this, it will be in my recent history until I learn the schematic for it. All right, and I don't have... Oh, I could... Huh. Let's get some height here. And fly to this. Is this another... I, did, I really didn't expect to be going back into the depths, and I promise I'm not... We're not going to get on a wild goose chase here. I'm, I'm investigating, and if it... If this is, uh... If this isn't the solution, then it's I'm it is basically a dead end. Like, I'm not I'm not going to be going on a tangent here. I just have a hunch, and I think I can prove it true. What is that? Let's get the bright root first. It almost looks this is another mining facility. I wonder if we'll get a straight up upgrade in a few seconds. I mean, we're gonna get a big post hole. That's that's cool. That's gonna be nice. Now, are we are we directly beneath this? No, but it's right next to us. What is this mushroom growing from? It looks like nothing. There's... There's nothing reaching the ceiling. I mean, the bright, bright root is obviously reaching the ceiling, but that's not... the same. Weird, man. Abandoned Karakara Mine. Uh... I, it doesn't look that abandoned to me. We'll get a shop, at least. Authorizer verified. Welcome, I am a forge construct. I process zonite into other materials. Alright, we can... Buy them all, which I think is correct. I think that's the correct thing to do. We don't have any big zonite. Oh, we do! Let's, uh... Let's take a couple of these. And now, we have a couple of rewards here. First, is, first off is a chest. Oh, wait, wait, and a charge. I need to remember to grab those. So first is a chest, which contains a shield, please. Oh, pff, all right. All right. That's awesome. We were that close to it. This, this mask looks sweet. I like this thing. It's clearly meant to fix, or fit one of the, the Zonai. We also have a big postal, Which Future Pal is going to be mildly annoyed that he has to cut... Uh, ...ascend out there, because he always does. Future Pal, you better do it. Authorizer verified. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage designs for mining equipment. Please hold on one moment. I have confirmed that there is a schema stone you have do not ha you do not yet have. Nice. Instant scout. <laughs> okay. I don't know why we need that. I guess that's that's fine. We can climb it, kind of. That seems kind of lame. I don't know why we'd necessarily need that, but whatever. It probably won't be. Kind of one of the lamer ones here. Uh, and then lastly, since this investigation didn't really turn up much. I mean, that's not true. It turned up this. It turned up this. We have, we have double glow. That's super nice. We also have a Yiga clan. Can you believe this? Ah. Look around you! None of this is naturally occurring, right? And do you see that? That's a construct. They're really real. Ah. Which means that this is an abandoned mine. I know that doesn't sound exciting, but they're the crown jewels of the depths. Not only are they full of crystallized charges, but if you talk to a construct, I hear they'll give you treasure, so yeah. Uh. I obviously can't let you take all these 
these riches from me, can I, Link? I'll have your life! <laughs> Woman, why is it? I'll get some bad stuff out of my inventory. Why is it? And this is a big complaint of mine. I might have said this, I don't remember. Ooh, Wombo? Yeah. I guess that would have been my hint right there. Why is it that Yiga Clan outnumber the people of Hyrule? I mean, there are researchers coming down here. That means we should be finding some. Why is it that uh, it 90, like, I don't know, um, 9.5 out of 10 uh, people we find here are Yiga Clan? Like, I get they have a, pres a presence down here, but after a while, every single person we see we know is going to be Yiga. Can you just throw us, like, a normal person every now and then? <sighs> okay. I see it now. It's the exact maximum height of Ascend. That makes a lot more sense, and that makes it more useful. It's almost now like Rivali's Gale. In a weird way. Okay. Well, I got about just everything I wanted, wanted out of this. Unfortunately, our investigation didn't bear that much fruit in terms of the information I wanted to know, but we got some sick treasure out of it. When we come back to the depths, we're gonna be slaying it. Yeah. This was a nice little capstone. Okay, time to go back. This hurt my body and my spirit. I sold so much stuff. But, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. what did you just say? What did you just say? I said no. Oh. If I buy it, she'll tell me a secret. Well, <sighs> take my blood, take my leg. It's mine. <sighs> Man. <laughs> so much progress, so many, so many adventures. And this is the payoff. A stylish headband. <laughs> Sark! Since you were kind enough to tell to buy the last one, I'll take keep my promise and tell you that secret. <laughs> that headband you just bought is only one part of part of the Des Desert Vo series. There's also a spalder and trousers. But you'll have to go to a special place to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Gerudo Town? Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. <gasps> oh, now that I think about it, Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Forget I said anything. Thanks for the secret that I know. Now, let's let's look at this updraft, because if I... I can just fly on this thing, or I could build a car. That's all kind of lame. I don't want that. Huh. Yeah, I, can, I can just sailcloth off this, right? Yeah. Get above... Get above this. Whoa, that's dark. They were not kidding. I need to commit to a direction, get up high, and I want to get to that. Hold straight. Hold straight, and I'll get to it. can barely see the thing. And we're there. Okay, we're the to, to the top of this now. Barely out of the canopy. Those look kind of weird. I don't know, am I trying to get to... Am I trying to get through this? That's kind of what they're pushing me towards. Maybe we should. I mean, the town's right there, right? What could it harm? Let's do it. I'm gonna have to hold straight. Hold straight and don't deviate, no matter what I see. 